My name is Tom Quinn. I'm an advanced practice nurse at the supportive care program at Yale Cancer Center. Postmastectomy pain syndrome is a collection of uh, symptoms that women experience after they've had a uh, mastectomy and uh, often a lymph node dissection on that same side, which is part of the surgical procedure. And what it really involves is the long-term effects of uh, the surgery, which damages the nerves so that there is uh, pain and tingling and other sensations that may even have a delayed onset. It could take months before um, these sensations appear, uh, even after it looks like the surgical site has healed. Uh, there are a variety of ways because there's a, a collection of symptoms or sensations that are involved, uh, but it could involve things like uh, tingling or burning. Uh, numbness is quite common, although many women don't talk about that, um, it, simply because it's not as distressing uh, uh, to many of them. Uh, stabbing pain uh, and burning are uh, among the more common uh, uh, terms that are used. And they may also talk about how it decreases their ability to use the, um, uh, the, the arm or the shoulder on that side. And sometimes they'll refer to sensations that um, would be referred to as, as uh, phantom sensations. Uh, it will feel like the breast is still there. Um, and it may feel like there is pain or tingling in the breast, which is as no longer there. Well, there's, there's damage to the nerves that uh, in many ways is unavoidable when the uh, mastectomy occurs just because of, of the way the tissue is uh, connected to the chest wall. And so the nerves that, that come out um, from between the, uh, the ribs have to be cut uh, during the, the, the surgery. Um, what happens sometimes to those nerves is that something called an aroma, a, a little um, uh, bleb uh, will uh, grow at the end of the nerve where the nerve is trying to um, regenerate, and that will be painful. Uh, in other cases, uh, the nerve itself uh, will, will be damaged, the body of the nerve, by compression. Um, either way, uh, a variety of, of sensations that we've already talked about can occur, and they vary from woman to woman, both in terms of what the specific sensations are as well as the severity and disruption. The, the, the kinds of pain that, people, that patients usually um, uh, think about uh, or experience from, from surgery, for example, um, might be a, a sharp to dull um, kind of pain. Uh, it's very unlikely that they'll report things like tingling or electric shocks or, uh, or numbness uh, following most surgical procedures. And it's also something uh, the, the the normal pain that people experience happens right away when there's an injury. Um, it may, it's, it's very unlikely that it's going to be delayed um, as it uh, would be in neurological pain or uh, neuropathic pain as we refer to it. Uh, so it is different uh, both in terms of um, uh, when it presents, how it presents, and what the actual sensations are. Well, again, sometimes it, it starts right away. Uh, it, it seems incorporated into the, the normal post-operative uh, pain. Uh, but as the healing occurs, that normal post-operative pain gradually goes away. Um, but the, the neuropathic pain uh, from this syndrome will either start um, uh, much later or will simply be a continuation of the pain. So the, so the pain of the surgery will feel like it just never went away and then these additional sensations uh, will come in uh, as well. Um, sometimes, usually later, but, but, um, but it, it may be one of the early onsets, one of the, this, the um, experiences can be something we call allodynia, where a, a touch that is not normally painful at all will become very painful. I saw a patient this week, for example, who described how she has to protect her chest when she gets in the shower because the water from the shower will actually cause pain at her operative site. And she had her mastectomy three years ago. 
uh, again, it can, it can be either an early or late um, onset. But the resolution is quite variable, and we don't know um, why for some women um, that occurs. Uh, so there can be a gradual um, diminishing of these sensations over a period of, of months um, or years. Uh, but for some women, they just never go away. Uh, some of the symptoms might, but others would not. As, as I mentioned, the woman I saw this morning had her mastectomy three years ago. And so, so she still has uh, significant uh, problems um, and still needs to take pain medications and probably will from this point on. If it hasn't healed in three years, then we're probably not going to see any healing. Well, there's, there's a variety of them. Um, obviously, we would like to, um, to, to prevent it um, early on by treating the, uh, the, the post-operative pain aggressively, and uh, usually with a combination of medications, um, certainly involving uh, opioid uh, pain medication, but sometimes also local anesthetics. Um, in addition to the opioids, sometimes the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory uh, medications, the common ones we think of are things like ibuprofen and, and uh, naproxen. Um, they will sometimes help, especially early on, although not usually in the, in the later phases. Um, <clears throat> there are some, uh, some other medications that are usually prescribed for other syndromes. Um, uh, antidepressants, for example, actually have an, uh, an anti-pain uh, quality uh, to them. Not all antidepressants, and, and they behave differently in different people, so we, we might have to try more than one. Um, anticonvulsants, things that prevent epilepsy, uh, for example, also have uh, a good, good effect on neuropathic pain. So combinations of medications um, are very helpful. But also we find that it's very important for uh, women to uh, do the prescribed physical therapy um, after the um, uh, after the surgery, so that they uh, retain as much function uh, as possible, and uh, also cognitive behavioral um, interventions, uh, things like relaxation, um, uh, visualization, uh, you know, reframing the problem, uh, identifying new ways of doing things, are uh, are an integral part of the treatment. One of the things that's very important that, that a lot of women um, forget to do is to keep their, um, their surgeon and their oncologist informed about how they're doing. Um, so uh, obviously when they go in for a, a, a post-operative visit, the, the surgeon will say, well, how are you doing? Um, uh, but, but women frequently don't do things like report numbness. Um, uh, or indicate how important that is to them in the, uh, in, in the overall way that they feel that they're recovering. Uh, many of them will just assume that whatever they're experiencing is normal. So it's important to, to, to give the details of the experience um, and also to ask about what the effects of other therapies will be. Um, if I have to have radiation or chemotherapy, Will that be um, uh, more damaging to the area? Is it likely to cause uh, more damage? And how can we um, reduce or prevent the risk of, um, of, of long-term effects from this surgery?